a really important skill to develop as a manager, as their boss, is to help them prioritize their tasks. It is your responsibility as their boss or their manager to prioritize what they should be doing. Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And all my goals at, at this video is to walk you through how to prioritize tasks with your virtual assistant. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Leanne Laila Kaba. I've been working from home since I was 15 years old and now we're my own virtual assistant agency here in the Philippines. And I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to put business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, when it comes to managing tasks with your assistant or just overall working with them, a really important skill to develop as a manager, as their boss, is to help them prioritize their tasks. It is your responsibility as their boss or their manager to prioritize what they should be doing. Later on, it might be something that'll be innate to them. They'll know what your priorities are, but it's still your responsibility to make it clear for them what it should be. Even later on when they're more self-managed, even later on when they're more self-sufficient, it's still important that you sync up with them from time to time to make sure that they're on the right things. Now, I've done a lot of previous videos on how to delegate tasks, what tasks to delegate. You guys can check that out on my channel, but this will be specifically on how to prioritize them with your assistant. Now, the first step is to give them context. What I mean by context is giving them the how and the why. How can this task be done and why is this task important? So it could be, for example, let's say it's your email management. How do you usually manage your email or how do you expect them to manage your email? What's kind of the better outcome of them now taking over your inbox? How are they expected to manage everything even when you're not looking over their shoulder? And why is this important? Why is it important that you have them doing this task? task because then in their head it gives them again that context of oh this is why this should be priority number one at the start of the day because they'll be getting like emails from potential clients or emails from clients so we really need to make sure that this gets done at the beginning of the day so it gives them again that context that later on as they become more self-managed they're able to know okay this is the first thing i'm doing right off the bat at the start of the day next is to make sure that you outline with them what is the outcome what is the outcome of a project that you guys may be working on that has tasks underneath it what is the outcome that you want to be able to see if they're managing certain different things what does this look like basically when it's done that way you guys have that alignment of what is a clear picture of what this is look like if it's not clear to you because sometimes there are a few tasks we aren't even clear what that end goal looks like it's still important to at least try to give them a picture of what is the outcome for this task or this project that you guys want to get done and then of course just making sure they actually organize them in a task list now i'm going to go over different methods on how to organize them how to prioritize them but it's really important that you have one task list or one for each of you up to what works best but having a way that both of you can see what the other is working on what the other one is focusing on so that it's easy for you guys to sync up easy for your virtual assistant to grab basically different tasks from you as they see it and easy for you to also look at their task list to see if they're working on the right things. So what are the different methods when it comes to prioritizing tasks with your virtual assistant? Now, now I've used a lot of these methods in the last couple of years with virtual assistants and I've basically just created a mix of all of them so it really depends on what works best for you and the way you work and the way your assistant works. Now the first way that you can prioritize tasks is by projects. So this is something that usually people People don't realize is that if you just bundle up like what is this project for you know or it could be like the type of tasks so admin tasks content tasks through projects if you guys are launching a new website launching a new business if you guys are doing a campaign to get more clients or to get more followers they can be put together into one place where it can be labeled as a project or as a category task. What this could further mean is you can say, hey, these are the top projects that I really wanna get done, so make sure they just focus on these. That way, automatically in their head, when they're looking at their tasks, they can be categorizing them as projects and be able to focus more on those. The second way they can prioritize tasks with a virtual assistant is called the Eisenhower Matrix. Now, if you haven't heard of the Eisenhower Matrix, it was basically a method that was discovered years ago. It's one 
one of the ways honestly that I have taught this to a lot of virtual assistants because it's a good and basic way to keep in mind what the priorities are. So I basically drew out the Eisenhower matrix for you guys and hopefully this is clear enough but it's basically down to two major factors. So basically one is how urgent a task is and second is how important which is again why it's important to have the why. So the first one is basically these are your priority tasks is any task that is deemed as urgent and important. So urgent could be depending on your context as well could be something in the next week in the next month so whatever that is that's your number one task number two tasks are usually ones that people forget about but it's actually really really important which are the not urgent but they're also important tasks these are number two three is basically that's urgent and not important and it's usually the reason why there are things like these in our to-do list is because it's urgent for someone else but not necessarily for you and this is usually where you would delegate that to your assistant right away because again not important enough for you but urgent for someone else and number four is of course anything that's not urgent and not important so what I mean by using this matrix with your assistant because it makes it easy to focus on the right things for you because these are the again the important and urgent ones it's easy to know which ones to delegate to your assistant especially the not urgent and important ones so like okay based on this you know this is not going to be due for another month however it still needs to get done so make sure to get started and of course three is usually just delegate just give it to your assistant it doesn't have to be you and four is why is it even on your list it's a good way to assess and see what are the different things that need to get done right away and honestly it becomes a communication method with your assistant when you're giving them tasks you can easily say oh this is a number one on the priority list this is a number two this is three so then it becomes easier for them to be able to filter through and to use the right kind of prioritization as they're going through their day and like i said i still use the eisenhower matrix to this day just because it's a good way to give someone also just you know a quick lesson on prioritization and also it's just a quick and easy way to go through like oh yeah I don't really need to do that or hey this is the most urgent thing at the moment so it just gives us a good little picture of what that looks like now the third method that I'm going to teach you guys is called the ABC method now this is something that my business partner has taught me years ago and has helped me so much whenever I feel stuck so it's basically let's say that you had three different projects or three different tasks and they each took a week to finish and you just had A, B, and C now most people will do this within let's say each of these uh, groups as a week to do so since you're doing all three at the same time you do ABC 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 in reality you'll probably finish them all of them on week three because you're doing all of them at the same time versus if you were able to focus really on making sure that you finish A you start getting the benefits of A. It doesn't have to be monetary. It could be that you created a new system. So that's A. So then while you're doing B, you're already experiencing the benefits of A. And by that second week, you've already finished B. And then when you start working on C, you have the benefits of A and B. And then of course, at the end of that, you already have the benefits of C. So that's kind of what the ABC method is. And it's a really good way to prioritize. It's a really good way to stick to just the one thing that you guys want to make sure that you get done for that week and not get overwhelmed with a lot of the bajillion million things that needs to be done on the to-do list it's just focusing on one thing at a time to make sure that they actually get done instead of just in the backlog the fourth way that you can prioritize is to create a stop or kill list now this sounds a little bit counterintuitive when it comes to prioritizing tasks but it is something that we do have to do from time to time is putting in a stop or a kill list to different tasks or projects that don't make sense anymore now the way that you do this is you look at the start date or when you created this certain task and if it's been more than 60 days and it's still been on your task list or even 30 days then it probably needs to go into your stop or kill list or delegate or for your assistant to be able to start doing because again if it's been there for so long and the two of you have not been able to get it done because there were other priorities it's probably a not important and not urgent task so it's just really good way for you to eliminate that take that off of your list is to put it into a stop or kill list and now the final method of when it comes to prioritizing your task list with your virtual assistant is choosing your one thing. Now I already covered this a little bit with the ABC method. This is from coming from the book The One Thing by Sam Carpenter where he talks about choosing the one thing that makes everything else easier. So this method basically talks about looking at your to-do list and choosing the one thing that will either eliminate everything else in your to-do list which is the best case scenario or it could also be choosing the one thing that makes you know knocks off two or three things off of your to-do list because usually there will be tasks like that where you know if you just finish this one thing everything else actually makes it a little bit easier. So 
find that one thing that makes it easier for you guys to move forward and one of the things that he illustrates in that book even is finding that one domino piece and working on that one domino piece that then flips over everything else instead of you just trying to tackle this one big domino piece at the very end you try to find the little things the little one things that you do to be able to get to that goal it's a really important thing that you are again clear with your assistant on what their priorities are because that shows them like hey this is the path that we're going to they don't have to figure things out all by themselves and again later on as they work closely with you and they learn your priorities and things that you need to get done is that they're able to just sort things through by themselves and keep asking and seeking with you what their priorities are so then you guys can keep working together smoothly now if you guys like this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below what is your one thing currently i would love to know or if you have any prioritization tips as well for other people please comment them down below and if you still haven't yet make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so don't miss any videos on how to work from home and how to have a business from home which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here i hope you guys have an awesome day and that small steps matters and i'll see you in the next video bye